Renee from Invasive Black. Just wanting to share some things about um, MLK Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, as I was growing up, I'm a child of the 70s, so there was none until sometime in the 80s. And initially it just, because you're young and you don't really know, um, you know some, but you don't appreciate um, the struggle that people went through for you. Um, as an individual and as a people. So um, growing up, it just getting older, once it became law and it was um, established as a federal holiday, it became pretty much a day that I didn't have to go to school or a day that class was canceled. So yay, thanks doc for that. Um, I do remember though um, in like 81, 82, um, there was, a series of commercials that came out and one of the biggest ones that I remember is the part of the speech where Dr. King says that uh, one day um, uh, children of all races will be able to join hands and then they're free at last, free at last. So that one kind of stuck with me because it was it was the black, ch the black children, the white children, the, um, at that time, Oriyama, um was very specific to <laughs> to China and Japan and all that kind of thing. So Oriental and you know everybody would come together and be able to proclaim that we are free. Um, but again, that part those were just snippets along the way of me growing up where I did not I knew but didn't really appreciate. So now fast forward decades um, and. Know, learning more about a history that was hidden from us or um, yeah pretty much hidden so um, the holiday becomes a little more intense I confess that I still appreciate that it's a day off from work um, but then when I think about now as, as an adult and um, the, the few uh, things that I've gone through as an adult dealing particularly with racism I appreciate more of, of the struggles that, um, not forefathers, but um, everyone who, who were part, who were and are part of the civil rights movement. I appreciate everything that they have done so that I can sit back and have a day off and, and be, and if not be free, feel free to go where I want to go, do what I want to do. Um, just really quick, uh, um, the story I like to tell, uh, when I lived in Nevada, I would do staycations. And one of them uh, was to a town called Fallon, Nevada, which is about five hours north of, yeah, north, five hours north of Las Vegas. And you're passing through a series of small towns because it's Nevada. Uh, um, the biggest towns in Nevada are Las Vegas and Reno. So in between all of those and around the state are these small towns. So uh, I, I had heard about this lake near Fallon. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go. So I'm in my car by myself, driving along the freeway, uh, got my music going and just looking around at all the cool things that are in the desert. This is pretty cool. Um, and um, there's some donkeys on the side of the road. Ooh. <laughs> um, eventually, it becomes grassland, and because um, there's there's uh, a dam, um, a man-made dam reservoir, in in Fallon, so it start to see the effects of water being uh, plentiful in the desert. At any rate, so I made a stop, um, and I think it was on a reservation or near. A reservation but I made a stop and I went into the store and I'm looking around the store and this and I and when I say this stop was like off the side of the road it's just this one building <laughs> where people just stopped the, the uh, like a little tourist spot but this is this one building off the side of the road not even a main this is not um, oh wait yes it is it was um it was an interstate but still off the side of the road so I got out and I, I, I looked around in the shop and everything and then I started looking around at the people and huh I that's what I do. I am the only one here. Okay. 
And then I thought about that no one bothered me and how uh, 30, 40 years ago, that would not have gone over that way. Um, I would have gotten more than just looks. I would have been told to leave, that I didn't belong there, and what am I doing out here, and all that kind of thing, would have been questioned, all that kind of thing. Um, and and so I, I think about things like that when I'm traveling, um, when I'm going into stores and things, and how um, I have had instances where somebody will follow me around, but for the most part, people leave me alone. Is there anything I can do to help you? If I say yes, they'll help me. If I say no, they'll leave me alone. Nobody's bugging me about whether or not I can afford to be in this store or anything like that. So in those things, um, I am grateful for the struggles that not just Dr. King, but everybody, Rosa Parks, um, um, Jesse Jackson, uh, good trouble, good trouble. Lewis, Lewis, I'm sorry I'm spacing his name right now, but um, he was part of that and, and a whole bunch of other people that we see them in the lines and in the crowds, but we don't know their names. We just know that um, they were brutalized for wanting to be human beings in America. So I am grateful to them for the struggles that they went through. And I am glad that we have an opportunity to honor those people on on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So I'm going to stop there before I ramble on. And, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Made from my basic black. Enjoy your day. Um,